Welcome back to Metroid Fusion! I'm your host, Old Director Jester with the Niskul. Do you think we should try doing the fusion effect from Dragon Ball? And just have us both talking at the same time? We'd have to have a script. Hmm, that would kind of defeat the purpose of our style. Yeah, we're not really like... We don't have that much synergy. Well, like... How about... I do... Okay, I mean, that's gonna say, be very... Well, I mean... No, you go, I... Do. Okay. <laughs> Actually, that would be a really obnoxious effect <laughs> if two people <laughs> sharing the same body had two different things to say. So, so Frieza appears on the planet, done. and then the fusion and of UDJ the and the Nussle <laughs> comes out. <laughs> the, the, the huge skull! <laughs> it's the huge skull! And then, you know, the, the strange, rotund warrior with unkempt hair comes out, points at Frieza, and says... You hey, will die! You. I'm, gonna I'm gonna kill, kill you. your you. ass! To kill you! Here we go! Domination! Kame! Hame. I want some ice cream! Big Bang Garlic! <laughs> <laughs> what an obnoxious hero! <laughs> Vegeta would have killed them yeah. <laughs> 10 seconds in. I think the best part is, even if we are Earth Savior, somebody would still get our name wrong and call us the Huge J. <laughs> it's the Huge J! It sounds like our radio show. Welcome to the Huge J in the morning. Welcome to Huge J in the morning. I'm Huge J, he's an Esco. Now, the thing about, uh, you know, something about Ben Stowe said last night on the, on the Grammys. <laughs> are, are we gonna, like, play carnival games? Or? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see? You, we know you want to play this game. Play a game that everyone's a winner! Except for you! Sorry that's, about your luck! Maybe that's what, a, what an obnoxious radio DJ in the morning is. Just a, just a carny with sound effects. <laughs> you know what? You might be onto something there. Ooh, that's pretty. Oh, you can't use the full shine spark going down the elevator. I love the rainbow shine spark. Yeah. So pretty. It's like, I just want to stay like this forever. Oh, let me be rainbow. <laughs> Taste the rainbow! All right, got another data room, or the data room. The, the the probably the last one on the the last one we can use. The X haven't gotten to this place, right? Oh no, they have gotten to every place. Okay, well, it it was a long shot. Oh yes, yeah. I, I think we're just trying to do what we can to make sure that we get out of here and survive. Have we tried negotiating? You know, they know about negotiating, and it's basically just uh, a coward's way of trying to say, Will, we, will you stop killing us? And they, they won't listen to that. Well, what if we ask really nicely? Like, what if we offer them a fruit basket, we just go in and say, We mean you no harm. Don't shoot yet. We can live together in harmony, X. Harmony is a trigger word. It uh, invokes great hostility within them. You know, I kind of figured, but I was hoping it wouldn't be true. <laughs> I heard a rumor, you know. I heard that one civilization that got wiped out by them because they said, you know, live in harmony from the Little Mermaid TV show, and it just, it was bad. <sighs> just corpses everywhere. And then the X were just flying all corpse, over the place. Corpses everywhere. They would come back to life, and then they'd kill them, and then they'd come back to life, and then they'd kill them. It's just, j just because they wanted to. Feast. So, I'm thinking about how much we've unlocked so far. Uh, yeah, you are flying through this game. But then the, again, the Metroid games aren't that long. These red doors. Oh, we got Power Bomb finally. Oh, yay! Is that how we open the red doors? Uh, no. Uh, red doors are level 4 security. That is top security. Which means that oh. anything that they want in there, they do not want you to find out. Huh. So what kind of conspiracy bait are we gonna find in there? Well, we're gonna find out, I'm sure. <laughs> if, 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 they, if they keep messing up as bad as they do... The moon isn't made of cheese! What?! Oh no, the moon is cheese. It's just... frozen yogurt. Uh, mm. Mm. I'd be down some for some frogurt. Froyo. Oh shit. Yeah, that's not good. Yeah, that's not good. Uh, hey, that's hey. not good. Hey, that's not good. Oh, they're just going. Okay, well, we're fine. Okay, all right. Now, if you were to use that power bomb, she'd find you immediately. Probably at the wrong time, yeah. Well, then you wouldn't be able to escape because how do you miss a power bomb blast? By the way, nice. Saw. <laughs> gone already. Another power bomb tank. There's, there's a lot of these. 
They're just giving them away. Look at all uh, these power bombs. Everything's broken. Why can't I hold all these power bombs? Hmm. How far are we going up? Pretty far. Oop, oop, oop. I love how it, at this point in the game, we could basically blame everything that happens that is bad on the X. It's like, I got a flat tire. Stupid X! <laughs> it broke my toenail. Oh, it's the X again! The Dow Jones dropped by two points. Fucking X! <laughs> I just lost my house because I didn't pay my bill! Gosh darn X! I didn't pay my child support! Fucking X! What do you mean I lost my job? God, it's the X again! And the CEO is just like, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> <laughs> he wants the ass. <laughs> I, I don't want to think about if these things get back to what this game considers Earth. Can you imagine? I don't, I, I don't know much about Earth in this world. I, I, I think it, for the most part, it's kind of unrelated. Well, maybe it'll go along with. Nintendo's fascination with post-apocalypse. Well, I mean, she was on a human colony called K2. That guy, that K2, guy rated- K2, so she only made it to kindergarten the sequel. So that, so that was like a space colony that was near Zebus. Oh, okay. So it was Chozo, plus the Chozo, and then the fucking space pirates attacked, did what they did, and then, you know, this slow little girl winds up on Zebus, and they're like, hey, I got a great idea, let's fuse our bird DNA into her and make a warrior out of her. And they're like, I did, okay. Frank, you suggest that every time a new human comes in here. Well, the last time you did that, you made Metroids and they almost doomed the universe. No, seriously, I I can do it this time. Okay, this is kind of this is this is kind of neat. I like neat. this puzzle. Yeah, so, I like uh, this puzzle. Yeah. So you freeze them, you jump over. Yep, and out. you and you can you can take some hits too, which is also nice. Jump it, just it, and and jump, uh, it uh, jump it, jump it. There hey. we go. And then there's hey. oh. power bomb. Yeah. So we're just gonna be drowning in power bombs by the end of this, is what I'm hearing, right? Yeah, we're gonna have a lot of power bombs. We're gonna set one off like every five minutes. My assumption is that if you didn't have the map and didn't know where everything was beforehand, <coughs> <laughs> yeah. um, you will. You will now. Your your secondary option was to use a lot of power bombs and find secret passages and go ah. Oh. But no, instead people like to look at the map and speedrun this shit instead of explore. So so you know. Fly through the game. I feel like I've been going at a pretty good pace. You know, not speedrun pace. No. Well, no, that that wasn't really the point of these playthroughs. It I have a feeling it was to start the Metroid series because just Dread was coming out, and also because you really wanted to play Fusion. Well, that too, yeah. I mean, I do love me some Fusion. I mean, I've done that before. It's like a game I want to LP, and I was like, damn it, there's games in front of it. Uh, well, guess what? We're starting today! Just so I can get to the sequel. The sequel's better. I really do want to do Prime. I've been playing more Prime because of, uh, Dread. I'm so sorry. No, don't be I sorry. mean, that's great! Oh, no, don't be sorry. I'm, I'm having a great time. Maybe I should try Prime again. Maybe the collection on Wii is where it's at. That is the easiest version. The definitive version as well. Yeah, because they fixed all the bugs and made it easier. Return to your ship. Oh. We need to GTFO. Alright, go back to the ship, alright. Are, are, are we leaving? Are we abandoning this place? And this is where we get our first ending. Yeah, Samus just fucks <laughs> off and leaves. And the Federation's like, we did it. You know, that's the canon ending because that's how they moved on to Dread. Really? No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not like, you know, Metro would do anything stupid to their canon. Now, why on earth would you joke about that? What hurt you? If you know, then you... it's no joke. That's SAX. Oh, the power's out! They cut the fucking power to the elevator! They don't believe them! Oh, god damn- uh, Oh, oh. Alright, alright! I'm gonna put a stop to this. X, where is your manager? This is completely unacceptable. Oh, no, This Sam is not fair! Samus is a goddamn Karen. Hey, all Karen for an X. <laughs> 
Take me oh, to your ex-manager. No, not your manager before this, your ex-manager. It's subtle to notice, but uh, the enemies are getting stronger now. Yeah. Now it's getting to the point where only missiles will destroy them, and now you realize, uh, oh. Hi! Oh, it's you. Oh, oh, I infected the frozen remains of Ridley. God, why were they keeping you here? What do they need Ridley's body for? That's actually a very good question. So let me think, he died in Super Metroid. He died another M. What? He died another M. What? Yeah. So wait, other M is part of this canon? Unfortunately, yes. And then it gets retconned in Dread? Uh, it didn't get retconned. Fuck! It actually got solidified into canon. <laughs> it was the exact opposite of what we wanted. Ah, uh, well, it's... I will just have to just we'll, denial myself we'll into something that's it. better. Yeah. I've, ar I've already done it a little bit, I just need a bit more coaxing, and then the Let's Play can happen. You get, you get high speed, but then you'll miss this missile up here. Yeah. The miss missable missile. Oh. God, I'm hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> See? <laughs> you know, did you ever find out where that missing missile pack was no, in Super Metroid? No, uh, there, there's a couple of theories, but it could be any fucking missile. I don't know. Now, what's hilarious is, after that episode aired, I actually went back to your profile to try and find it. Mm-hmm. Had to do a little bit of maneuvering to get out of Torian. Mm hmm. But the one place I thought it was, it wasn't there, so that's my idea. <laughs> Who knows where it could be? <sighs> Actually, did we ever do the tutorial for Shine Spark in that game? Yeah, we did. Wait, there was a tutorial for Shine Sparking? Yes, there was a tutorial for Shine Sparking. If, if there, I didn't realize it was a tutorial, but. There's a tutorial to where. Be, to be determined, go, check, go find out. Who knows? Well, basically, once you. Do the, uh, speed booster? Check it though. Oh, yeah. By the way, some strange creatures have poor- Oh, hi! This is where the- this is where they went. Computer confirmed that they were not ex-hosts. Yes, computer can do biological scans on- on life forms and see what's- what's legit well, and what's good. not. Very well. Their presence in the midst of this disaster must have some significance. Yes, it's called series continuity. Mm-hmm. So we're gonna go find out, uh, how they shut everything off and see if we can get the generator back up so we can get the fucking elevators working so we can try and unfuck this machine. So, uh, yeah, there's a Shine Spark tutorial in Super Metroid and it actually has to do with those animals. They teach you how to Shine Spark. Oh, they taught me how to do the wall jump. Was there another one I missed? Yeah. There is, at one point where you're running along, you use the speed booster and you fall down a long pit. And that's when that ostrich looking thing teaches you about Shine Sparking. Did we do that? No. You can do that though, that's neat. That is cool. Yeah, I don't think we did that, but I also don't think there's a missile pack down there, so... Your guess is still so could, as good it, as mine. It could be anything! Who knows? Damn it, now you're gonna... You're gonna make me want to go back and find everything. Hey, it's your Super Nintendo Mini. That is true. Boy, that was a hard E-tank to find. That must be impossible to avoid in a zero or one percent. Oh my god! Well, by then you'll have the, the shine spark, so you could probably speed boost over there. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. By the way, Space Pirates? Yes, well... The X took over Space Pirates. Yeah, the Space Pirate remains down here. Then the X took them over, too. And, uh, what was this colony? Why do they have Ridley Bones? Why do they have Space Pirates? That's a very good question, Niskel. Why on earth does BSL have all this stuff? What are they doing? Why it's do, almost why is, like we're working for the villain! Why is Area 1... Supposed to be after SR388. It's not tropical or arid or, or cryogenic or lava. It's specifically SR388. What are they doing here? Starting to have my suspicions. Some bad stuff some going ba down. They're doing some bad stuff here. What's behind level four? I have to know what's behind these level four security doors. Excuse me. I want to talk to you guys about the, about the power. What? Uh, oh, fire. Fired. Oh, oh, this guy. This boss. I've this seen this motherfucker. Boss. This boss sucks. Top two worst bosses in the game because they're so hard. Not you know, it's a fine boss. Oh my god, a zero percent run. You'd be dead already. Yeah, I would be dead already. He's he, he's only weak when he opens his mouth, like so many other Ow. enemies in this in this game. He also shoots out fire. That's hurdy too. No, that hurdy fire. And he grabs no, you no, too, no, like no. butthole. <laughs> 
He's, he's got incredible range, too. You won't believe it. But uh, you, you uh, can fire enough super missiles in him that'll probably uh, do some damage. Yeah, I think the fire is also a set amount ways away with each firing, but if it hits a wall, obviously it's going to be closer than the other fire. I think this might be a good test to see how many missiles and energy tanks you have. Oh, what the fuck is this? Oh yeah, his head his head comes off and starts dropping shit and, oh, and starts gross. flipping around. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, so that's where you're getting the space jump. Uh huh. Oh, this is oh, abominable. It's kind of good to be not quite in the corner, but close to the corner, so that way he just kind of yeah. stays in one place. Struggle, struggle, struggle. I almost got him. Ah, oh, lovely. Gone. Not not gone yet. This is Metroid yeah, Fusion, baby. This. So after the near impossible boss fight with only one energy tank, you still gotta kill this. The ah. Yeah, already dead. So much frustration in a low percent run. Yeah, he's taking a lot, a lot of hits there. I mean, we're, I mean, we're okay, but we've got like every tank we can get up to this point, basically. He's also following a very uh, easy to uh, easy to program uh, follow uh, algorithm. And there's your space jump. Somersaults continually in air. So, me first playing Metroid Fusion, I was like, how does that help me? And I'm like, oh, man! There you go. Metroid's the best! <laughs> they thought of everything! Yes! Oh, auxiliary power, excellent. Hello, power, can you turn back on? Let's stay on this time. Hello? Hello, power? If you get infected by X again, I'm gonna be quite upset. Don't make Samus pout. All right, Please. what now? Save rooms, recharge rooms are oh, back that's online. that's right, there's no save rooms either. But there's no elevators or hatches yet. Oh, God! We need to get the main silo back online. Is the vegetation you saw earlier choking the reactor core? Where do we know vegetation coming from? Wait, people have been gone so long that the trees took over? <laughs> no! Vegetation took over, or was that the X again? So, the X got into Sector 2, which is the tropical zone. Yeah, don't these enemies look familiar? Oh, this yeah. is basically, they t infected the vegetation in Sector 2, ah. infected it so far that it got into the main silo and got into the reactor core. Nice. And shut it down. They they are they are smart. We are not dealing with your typical like the thing here, alright? <laughs> they are smart, we are dumb. Yes. Ah, here we go. No, yeah, it's moving and shit too. That's not good. And I think I hear footsteps. SAX? Hello? Let's go! Ah! Ah! In your <laughs> How the hell did she see you up there? Uh, I mean, uh, it kind of makes sense. I mean, I kind of drop it there with don't power 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 power. Power. <laughs> Would you use a power bomb, you fool? <laughs> what you like 10 million. That doesn't matter, I gotta run! Gotta run, gotta run, gotta run, gotta run, Bob! <laughs> <laughs> All the amazingly placed <laughs> buttons. <laughs> ah, behind a wall! Now she can't find me! You know, except, oh, for, the, except for the clunk, clunk, clunk. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's <laughs> shooting this. <laughs> stupid ah, I'm gonna kill you now, you stupid little- Oh, she's gone. Actually, this is a good thing. If she was actually just outside the door saying, Hello. <laughs> <laughs> and thus, Sam screamed like a little girl. And then she did the Howie scream. <laughs> 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 oh, shit. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Oopsies. I just love looking at the background. That's why I keep going in and out of doors. It's fine. No, it's because the doors don't work, and I space jumped into an open door. Oh. No, well, I was trying to give you an out, man. I don't need no out, all I need is an in, man. You know, whenever anything happens with rendering or making an LP video, you just blame it on the X. Ugh, this is gonna take 12 hours to render. Jeez, it's the X, isn't it? Damn X. Maybe it's the fact that your bitrate is like in the millions? Nah, it's the fucking X! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, 23 gigs for this video? X gonna give it to you. 23 gigs? It's only five minutes. <laughs> X gonna give it to you! Uh, because I'm playing Prime, I'm used to the save points healing me and giving me my missiles back. Don't be a spoiled gamer. Uh, 
It feels nice, though. <laughs> My Metroid safe space. That's why there's only, like, five save points in the whole game. In Prime? Well, it's not that many, but they are very few and far between. Oh, okay. It's been a hot minute since I played Prime. I played it on uh, GameCube, and of course I stopped because you couldn't figure out where the fuck to go. And I feel bad for that because I've never given up on games before. Unless it was, like, impossible for me to figure out. Or it was just that bad. And uh, can you please stop getting by? I'm, I'm trying! Oh my god, the X took over Spore Spawn and turned him into just a giant wall! They're using the power of a Chozo statue to grow the vegetation enough to choke out. Oh my god, they're smart. Oh man. When's the last time we had a smart villain that just didn't actually have a brain or anything and it was just a collection of monsters? This means that they're learning about Chozo technologies. That's not because, good! Because they're learned, they're, see, they're tapping into the memories of uh, Samus' power suit. Which means they're gonna learn about a lot of things. Like the one thing that can kill them. Uh -oh. We don't want them to learn. Actually, that is the problem. Yeah, yeah, oh my god, yeah, seriously, yeah, dude? Get, me out. get out of there. Just get out of there. <laughs> Stop, god, gravity suit, please help me when you get here. Fuck. That is actually probably one of the most threatening Here. lines in this game, is hearing the words, they're learning. <laughs> Stop running into the thing! Shoot the damn thing well, so you can get the plasma beam! Well, it's not that they're learning, it's that they're also figuring out. But now we got the plasma beam. Congratulations on getting your final beam? Nope. Ooh. But I do like this beam a lot. Three shots? Three shots, pierces enemies. Beautiful. Just feels good. Go through walls? Not yet. Okay. It will, though. No, oh, it just blasts the wall down. It doesn't uh, go through it, it blows it up. Well, those are shootable walls. But it shows that you can shoot multiple enemies instead of just, you know, absorbing into the first one. Man. Means that things are gonna die a lot quicker now. That is such a game design room. Did you notice that? Yeah. That room was specifically there to show you what the plasma beam can do. Precisely, I didn't shoot a damn thing with that. <laughs> and then you missed every single target. <laughs> Here, Samus, we're gonna put you in a room with enemies that actually can't hurt you, and you will give you an opportunity to blast them all. Shoots everywhere but the enemy. I think that's that's where Nintendo shines. They they know a lot about game design. They've been doing it for a while. They're like the Disney of game design. Not a bad comparison. I mean, you think about games like Kirby, Metroid, Wario Land, those are like shining examples of game design. Well, you also have all the Nintendo franchises that are down to a science. Mm -hmm. And when you disrupt that science, you have to bring something so good to the table that it changes the entire paradigm. I.e. Breath of the Wild. You add that series down to a science, and then you adjust to the formula, and bam, look at that, game of the year. And that's just what happens when uh, you have a franchise or an IP that just goes on too long. You strip it down and see what happens. That's what they did with Metal Gear Solid. You know, Metal Gear Solid 2 was a completely bloated homunculus of ridiculousness. <laughs> so for Metal Gear Solid 3, they stripped everything down. No more radar, no more cool gadgets, no more nothing. It's just stripped down to its basics. So next time on Metroid Fusion... I don't know. We'll, we'll figure something out that the X will just fuck up something else. I mean... Yeah. Oh, I broke my leg, stupid X! Well, the video's ending, stupid X. Stupid X.